defensive coordinator. He was Ron Rivera's quarterback coach a couple of seasons in Carolina before coming to Washington. Pass a little dangerous behind McLaurin. Well, that's not a happy homecoming for Terry McLaurin. Good play defensively by Kenny Moore. So Terry McLaurin, his first catch back here with 70 friends and family, and it goes in the wrong direction. Kenny Moore is an absolute ball hawk. He's that nickelback type player. But here it's just a quick recognition. He sees the motion coming around, just slides right around the block attempt right there, pulls the trigger, makes the play. Lost his seventh. No. Empty backfield here for Tanner Heineke. Making his second start of the season, and there's McLaurin down the sideline. Welcome back to Indianapolis, Terry McLaurin. Played his high school ball 10 miles from here at Cathedral with State, and he takes that for 43 yards. Well, you're going to see him here in the slot. He just gets a little stop, but then he accelerates away, and McLaurin able to catch that one. And we talked about how good he is after the catch, even lowering the shoulder a little bit at the end of that one. Won a couple of state titles on this field with Cathedral and then won a Big Ten championship. A couple of them got there. Shaquille Leonard, their three-time All-Pro, returning from injury this week. Pressure coming, and that ball is batted down. Well, this is a nice shot by Franklin. See, he has his eyes on Heineke the whole time, and Heineke tries to do a little no-look pass there. Like they do right here for this third down and 10. Heineke caught but short. McLaurin hauls it in, but he just got nine. So now you've got a decision to make here at midfield, Robert, on fourth and one. Well, I think they're going to go comparison to the golf swing and delivering a football. Facing a third and ten here. Colts get pressure. Drops it off to McLaurin. McLaurin's not going to get there. He's hit by Kenny Moore, who's had a nice game in that Colts second. Gilmore, and Gilmore tracks him all the way across, and they try to get that pick action. But you talk. Report this week that some teams are interested in trading for Antonio Gibson, but Ron Rivera says we like our running back room where it is right now. Pitch and catch to McLaurin, and McLaurin gets it out to the 48-yard line, and Washington finally has some momentum here on offense. You're going to see McLaurin lined up here on the outside against Stephon Gilmore. And Stephon Gilmore is not always easy to get separation from. See, McLaurin breaks to the inside, gets away from Gilmore, nobody there, and again, not Terry McLaurin, who grew up in Indianapolis, a Colts fan, used to have season tickets here. Now down the sideline in the direction of McLaurin, but he overshot him. How weird this must be for Terry McLaurin, who his dad used to bring him to the game. They would sit in section 540 with his dad, Terry Sr., and then played at Cathedral High School, won a couple of state titles here, <laughs> Mr. Football in Indiana. Won three state titles. Yeah, he played he in the last two, but he was oh, there okay. as a okay. sophomore. Well, he won a couple, couple, uh, couple of Big Ten championships here. First game in the National Football League here. In those four games that he played in, there's Section 540 where he sat. He had eight touchdowns in those four games here at Lucas Oil Stadium between high school and his time at Ohio State. Clock ticking, down to 40 seconds. Heineke looking, Heineke. They keep the play alive again. He flips it downfield and McLaurin, the hometown kid, hauls it in at the one yard line. What a grab. He ripped it away from Stefan Gilmore. What this is like, it's out of one of the Hollywood movies, right? Jerry McLaurin comes home for the first time to Indianapolis. Taylor Heineke takes the shot. Washington. <laughs> hey. He's screaming, it's my city. It's my city. Maybe with a few more colorful words in there. And he, you know, they talk about the relationship between Tyler Heineke and Terry McLaurin, you can see it's kind of that double move. Once he gets that scramble and buys a little bit more time, he goes up with one of the best corner and most experienced quarterbacks in football, gets the ball on the shoulder and just rips it away from him. That's just a little bit of will. That's just, I want this ball. The ball's in the air. It's mine. I'm taking it. Will they give him the football? No, it'll be Heineke. Heineke, no signal. 
Yes, they say he's pusher help. He didn't even need it right there. The offensive line, a lot of new faces, and a new face at that right guard spot because Charles was sick this week. They run right over. Be ready for a possible lateral, maybe several. What well, we saw with the Packers last week against the command. Absolutely, but Ellinger just has to flip it. He does get it to Pittman, but Pittman is taken down, and the commanders and Taylor Heineke come from behind. They've won three in a row, and they get back to 500.